Scott Grove here. Welcome back to lesson number 16. Okay, in lesson 15 we learned how to do some walk-ups. And guess what else? Yeah, walk-downs. Okay, so all that kind of stuff. And you were supposed to, on your own, uh, pick that up, make it faster, and do... If you have it, go back and do number 15. <laughs> okay, so with number 16, I'm going to continue on that same um, train of thought, but um, assume that you have these walk ups and walk downs um, in this basic country style already taken care of. Okay, because I'm going to insert now some other stuff from previous lessons that will make everything. Uh, just a lot more musical, okay? So in, um, I'll just come up here to you and we will use my fancy camera guy here and show you kind of what I'm talking about. Remember we had like in the A shape with uh, one finger? Check it out, okay? Or see if this jars your memory. I'll try not to go blazing fast, but then you've got D. Okay, and then you've got uh, E in here. Okay, yep, we've done all this. <laughs> okay, so if we're doing the A thing with the walk ups, now to our five chord, the E. that is very basic and can get you through a lot of life and be plenty happy with it but if you're not going to be singing all the time um, it's just kind of nice to be able to accompany yourself while playing some other stuff okay again what I just showed you okay so you could go Okay, the previous lesson on 15 was just to teach you how to do them. And again, if you're doing this kind of stuff, you won't need them all the time. There was a point where I taught you how to do your dominant seventh, which was this. Okay, and you won't do it on the four chord, ever, but you can do it on the one, and the, then you go to the four and you won't do it, but back to the one. 
then you do the five. Okay, that was just a pinky. Open B, second fret, third fret. And then a walk, just for fun and a quick one. They don't all have to be a real slow walk. You got just enough time to cram one in, cram it in. You'll get used to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the A, D, E thing. Um, one, four, one, five, like we've been doing. So it'll be A, D, A, E. And again, the second time around, generally, again, in country style of music, it tends to have the ending part change chords quicker and therefore things will speed up. Okay, so for just a refresher, A, one finger chord. Now if you're gonna do nothing more than like add a seventh to it, like A, or just lift up your middle finger, whichever sounds better. Real quick like that, then you can just make it the thing or the three finger A. Okay, so just up to you what you plan on doing with it. And you can change it every single time. It's why it's music, you get to make it up as you go. Um, it's yours, do with it what you want. Like I always like to say, it's like I give you the uh, hammer and the nails and the wood and you go build yourself a house. <laughs> okay, make it your way. Of it your way. I can't remember who that was. Anyway, so we're going to do the A and I want you to basically remember we have going on the D string. So all the notes that are fretted here on the D, G, and B string. So two, four. Next string, two, four. Next one's two, three, five. last one, because of the way this is all tuned, is two, four, five. So if you go backward, it will sound exactly like Joy to the World. Okay, so that kind of stuff. But you can just throw it in very slow to begin with. Got this D, remember you can add the pinky, take off your middle finger, or take off that finger, add the pinky to the fourth fret of the G, because you got like um. teach you that in a little while um, but that shows you a little back history of what we've played so this one middle finger up and down that finger up and down pinky on the third fret you can reach all the way up to the fifth fret on the high E if you can if you can't it's not a can't it's just something that will happen Again, if anything here on your arm hurts or your wrist hurts, again, it's just um, holding the guitar wrong incorrectly. It should never, ever hurt. Nothing. If anything, it'll be those that hurt. I have calluses and those don't hurt. You should build those up and they will never hurt again, ever. I, I don't feel that. Okay? And... When we go back to the E, we also have, we can take both of these down. You know, but just like they're glued down. That's a hammer on. Or 
we can do the E7 because we're getting ready to go back to the A. And that's putting your pinky on the third fret of the B string. It's cool to do this here a little hammer on two on the G string. Okay, that's the note. That there is actually what you hear at the end of the uh, TV show Cops. Okay, two of those, then hammer on, open E, then E7. That's how the movie or the TV show Cops ends. <laughs> I know you don't care, but hey, there it is. Okay, so an A, here's just off the cuff using what I just showed you. So you can see what's going on. You start adding all the stuff that I showed you before. Okay? Now let's go to something different like C, F, and G. C, F, C, G. So now you've got this stuff. All that stuff we learned, if you need it, go back and learn it again. Um, on the F, we can do everything on the third string. Oh, I'm sorry, third fret. With your pinky. A lot of hammer-ons. Back to the C. Okay, that there's a cool one. Same thing, start off with the walks, and then we'll add some stuff that we learned, learned <laughs> a while back, okay? So here's just the walks. we can add in some stuff here. Okay, I'm hitting two strings at a time. For that one. Then you have the pinky to do all kinds of stuff. And then on the third fret, third fret, skip the G string, put it on the third fret of the D. Okay, but if you're going to go for the C7, that's when you will put your pinky at the third fret on the G string. So you got. So 
I omitted a few walk-ups and walk-downs because I was having fun with um, just playing around with all those little notes we learned before. Now you can see how they interact with the chords and you get to choose whether you want to do the walks or whether you want to do some goofing around with some melodies or you can omit the walks altogether now or just toss some in every now and then you know or not at all it'll all change because you may not want to do this country thing all the time you want to do something else um, get rid of the walks <laughs> the walks are definitely country bluegrass that kind of thing um, but any kind of other thing you'll be doing different types of strumming you know like And you can put the two minors, the three minors, and the six minors in there. a lot don't forget big muscles you gotta learn to do all this stuff and then you get this going on <laughs> I'm gonna impress the people with that okay so that is the big thing here for uh, lesson 16 is to try to do the walk-ups and then all the tricks you learned um, as I was going through every single lesson being a different chord so you had the F chord, the A chord, you know, for a whole lesson. That's what those are about. We use those now. Okay? So you can either put them in with the country walking things or totally get away from them. Okay? In a little while, we'll just totally get away from the country and do something else. Okay? So I'm going to get over here and sit on my little stool. And, um,. Yeah, let's oh, bend over. I'm not getting back up. <laughs> so, um, there's 16. It's just giving you a segue to other things, but at the same time, really, really feeling, uh, filling out, feeling? <laughs> Feelings. Um, filling out all your other country type of stuff, but it's needed because it's what you've heard so far. And it's the easiest thing that I know that I can, you know, teach you with before we move on to other kinds of things. So again, go back to all those lessons where I just taught the one chord and dig those, you know, little fancy things out again and add them now to these walk-ups and walk-downs. And sometimes don't do the walk-ups and walk-downs. Concentrate on putting all those groovy notes in instead and throw a walk in you know the walks uh, now and then just to keep on it okay so I'll be back for 11 uh, lesson 17 and we're gonna get into uh, some pretty crazy stuff actually see if you can handle it a little more on the hammer-ons and pull-offs okay because it's gonna get really complicated fast because I want it to for you guys and then uh, break it down, make it faster, make it slower, whatever. But it's going to be a cool lesson, so stick around for 17. Later. <laughs>